football. The glorious game. Every man's first port of call on the weekend. Forget the missus and the dishes. There's only one thing on our minds. Stop! Of course, when it comes to football, we all want our teams to score and win. But when it comes to the under 2.5 goal strategy, this is the last thing we need. Hi, I'm James and I'm one third of Trading the Market. Today we're going to be discussing the pros and cons of the under 2.5 goal strategy. Other channels would like you to believe that this strategy is a simple one. And in theory, it seems to be that way. It's a decent one for making profit, but it also comes with a high risk. To minimise this risk as best you can, it all comes down to game selection. And by this we mean football matches where the exchange believes there will be over 2.5 goals within a match. This will be shown by the decimal odds on the under 2.5 market being higher than the decimal odds on the over 2.5 market. For example, the under 2.5 could be 2.44 and the over 2.5 decimal odds could be at 1.98. This shows that the market believes there will be more than 2.5 goals in this game. The key to making this work is trading on the confidence of this will happen. We expect it to happen, but we don't want it to happen, until we have traded out of our position. So to select a game, we need to be looking for under 2.5 markets that have a higher than decimal 2 on the exchange and the over 2.5 is shorter odds. Now, to make sure we have enough time to get into the trade and back out again. We need to make sure the goal isn't scored too soon and to do this we need to check on average when goals are scored by both teams. To do this we can use some free to use websites that will give you information on goal timings. Personally I like using soccer stats as it tells you how many goals are scored and conceded by both teams in one easy view. Let me show you where you can find that. If we select the Hellas Verona vs Lazio game and then move over to the goal timing. You can see Hellas Verona have scored three times and conceded four times in the first 15 minutes. Then the same with Lazio, 10 goals scored and four goals conceded in the first 15 minutes. If you add all the goals scored and conceded in the first 15 minutes and divide by two, then this will give you the percentage of both teams combined. You need to look for this percentage to be as low as possible. And in this game, it's 10.5%. Anything above 11% is a bit of a risk. Also remember if you are towards the start of the season there will be a smaller data set and the results don't mean as much as the variation of opponents is very low. So let's get into the first trade. I'm going to be jumping on the Man City v Leeds game and we need to head over to the goals over and under market or you can scroll up to the top and hit totals which will bring you to the same screen. First of all we want to back the under 2.5 goals market by going to the green box. I'm going to back it at decimal 2.8 with a stake of £10. So I'll just put that trade through there and hit buy. And now we'll just let it get matched. And as you can see we've only been partially matched by a stake of £6. Which is nothing to worry about as we can click the red X, cancel it. And head back over to the market and back it at 2.78 for £4. So we'll put £4 back in there. Boom, now we've been fully matched. So just before the game starts we can already see that the odds have dropped. This is usually due to the lineups being announced. And as you can see we're already in profit by 34 to 42 pence. And the decimal odds have dropped to 2.68. So the game has started and now let's start trading. I'm going to be taking my liability out in small increments. We only want to be in the game for around 10 to 15 minutes. Anything more than this is a risk as a goal is likely to be scored. So, two minutes into the game, and we want to be taking out our first two pounds. So we'll click the blue layer box and enter in a stake of two pounds. The odds are jumping up and down. So we'll just nudge it down a little bit to decimal 2.52. Hit sell, and that's our first two pounds back in our pockets. And in the top right corner, you can see the market is just waiting to catch up. It's just fully match pending and boom, we're fully matched. With £8 left in our trade and a potential £14.88 profit. So, four minutes into the game and we'll repeat the process. 
we'll click the blue layer box and we'll sell another two pounds of our liability. And with each increment sold, we're minimizing our risk. So we'll just let the market catch up again, just waiting to be fully matched. And there we go, we're fully matched. Right, we're six minutes in, still no goals, great for us. The odds are still dropping nicely, so let's sell off another two pounds of our liability. So, same again, repeat the process, hit the blue layer box, and hit sell. And we'll just wait to get fully matched again. And there we go, we're fully matched. Only four pounds left of our liability, with a trade out of one pound 64 if we were to take it now. So here we are, eight minutes in. We'll do the same again, we'll click the blue layer box, sell another two pounds of our liability. Very boring. Nah, profit is not boring. So we'll just wait to get fully matched again. Boom, there we are, fully matched again. Only two pounds left of our liability. Ten minutes in, still no goals, we're almost home. The last time we'll do this now, we'll click the blue layer box, sell off our last two pounds of liability, and boom, we're in profit. So there again, we'll just wait to get fully matched. Happy days, we're fully matched, that's our total liability out. If a goal was to be scored now, we lose nothing. Now you could either leave this in as a free bet and hope for under 2.5 goals, but as traders this is not what we're about, we want to be in and out. Especially when Man City and Leeds are concerned, these buggers score goals for fun. So let's trade out of our position right now. Now we're full match pending. And there we go, we're fully matched which leaves us with a profit of two pounds and six pence. It might not seem much, but it's all relative. This is 20% profit. If you're using a stake of 100 pounds, that's 20 pounds. And if you're using a stake of a gram, that's 200 pounds, boom. Now, like I was saying, this is a decent strategy. The only drawback is you have to be using high stakes to gain a substantial profit. Now, if you've got the money to risk, that's great for you. But personally, I think there's better strategies out there that yield a higher profit and come with less risk. Now, let me show you some more examples of this strategy and why I tend not to use it. So here we are at the back end of the trade on the Manchester United v Burnley game. I haven't shown the whole trade, otherwise this video would be an hour long. And ain't nobody got time for that, we all want to be trading. Now with this strategy, you could leave your full stake in and trade out after 10 to 15 minutes. But if a goal is scored, you lose a large chunk of your stake. So with this, I've used the exact same strategy, taking two pounds out every two minutes. So I'm just selling the last two pounds of my liability. And there we go, we're fully matched. So I can go ahead and trade out for a profit. Let's see what it is. And there it is, it's 51 pence. 15 minutes in, 51 pence. This is yet another reason why I don't use this strategy. I've staked 10 pounds, waited 15 minutes and earned 5%. Not a great return, I could earn more at work. But all the same, we'll wait to get fully matched. And there we go, fully matched. Boom, 51p. So let's show you some more examples. This is the Liverpool Real Madrid game, 19 minutes in, full liability out. What have we got? 66p, boom. And here's another one, the Hellas Verona versus Lazio game, 12 minutes in, 47p. <sighs> Come on James, pick yourself back up. In short, I'd advise against using this strategy. Here at Trade in the Market, we'll tell you the truth. We wouldn't recommend you putting thousands of pounds on these trades to make small profits. You're never going to become a millionaire using this. 
the percentage profits are far too small plus it would take me a year of trade using this strategy to make enough money to buy the missus the pine table she wants all jokes aside like i say i would definitely not recommend using this strategy there's far more profitable strategies out there so stick with us at trade in the market and you won't go far wrong so if you like this video and you want to see more from us please hit the like and subscribe button hit the bell or leave a comment and we'll get back to you I've been James, this is the under 2.5 goal strategy and we are trading the market, happy trading.